This is sodium, a metal so reactive that it burns with a bright flame when it touches water and can even explode eventually. Sodium is an extremely common element and it's a key component of regular table salt. For a metal, it's incredibly light and super soft. I can easily shape it, crush it and stretch it apart with just my fingers. That's why you can cold forge it without any issues. Just hammer it out and easily shape it into an explosive metal disc. Sodium disc versus water. The disc's large surface area makes the reaction way stronger than the cubes. Since sodium's reactivity and potential are so high, it's absolutely an element that could work perfectly for batteries. The energy density is high and sodium is abundantly available. The reaction with water was already intense, but with hydrochloric acid, it gets even stronger. Hydrogen is produced, which ignites and burns with a yellow flame due to the sodium. What's left is a white powder we all know, table salt. As I mentioned earlier, sodium is actually a key and essential component of salt. That also makes it relatively cheap. At the same time, this was probably the most expensive way to produce salt. There are methods such as extracting it from the ocean that are far, far more affordable. 